Yo, what up, guys? Um, 6.7, Bolivar, my way, top lane, hashtag ripped and chill. That's what this is about. Um, but, of course, you know we're not going to chill. We're going to turn it up a little bit. Also, don't forget uh, the giveaway winner. Uh, I'll tweet it out and all that stuff. And there's a giveaway at the end, too, with the runes and mastery. All right, baby, we back once a motherfucking game with that 6.7, top Bolivar, my way. Now, uh, top Bolivar. Now, I had a dem uh, hold on. Demify, Demon, Demon, Demify, Demify, the god ass. Yo, man, I go 3-0 and in lane. Let me, let me see if I can read this real quick. I might as well go ahead and read it, right? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about when you are ahead in lane, like 3-0, and 134 CS for 60 minutes-ish. So right, because you eventually have to leave top and help the team out. You can't stay in the lane forever. I'm talking about when the game... Uh, as a top laner, should you start to rotate? Well, let, let's 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 talk about it. You know, see, this is like you know, this is what you know. I'm trying to teach you guys exactly what the fuck he just said. Breaking that down, giving yourself giving yourself more options. That's what it's all about. Now let's analyze my my squad. I have a fucking war jungle. I'm not gonna see him, so I'm not gonna depend on him. Plus, I don't give a fuck. And you see ignite on my Volivar. This is plat three, guys. So. Plat three. I want to stay in plat three, but I'm gonna have to make a new account because you know I can't keep. Uh, well, I could, um, you know, stay and do a diamond, but um, it's better. Oh, Mini just, uh, okay, Mini's up now, guys. Oh, right, yeah, but getting back to the lane. So we're going against Nasus. Uh, uh, War Jungle, fuck him. Uh, LeBlanc, anything's possible with that uh, champion. Uh, they have a Karthus mid versus LeBlanc. That's a, that's a, bad, that's a bad matchup. Um, and... I got a Jen, a Janna uh, versus a Vayne and a Blitz. Um, Vi jungle, not worried about it. It's, Vi's somewhat kind of like work, but of course Vi's probably a little bit better because she has that Q that's able to gap close and get onto targets uh, and pound them and auto attack reset. It's a lot of damage, especially with the Wither on top. Wither on top. So here in that, I got to keep the sound down. Well, you probably like it. Let me just turn the sound down on my headset. <clears throat> you see what I'm doing here? I'm just sitting on top of minions. He drops a spirit fire. He pushes the lane. That's the last thing. If anything, he should try to get me to auto attack him. You know, but you know, I auto attack him there because the lane's already pushing, and I do take aggro from his minions. But the lane is still balanced out. I mean, if he wants to hit me, that's fine. I will not hit him for no reason. Just auto push. Well, that, was, that might have been an accident because I was going for the minion. But it doesn't matter. Like I don't care to overextend because I hit him one time and I didn't stay on him and I didn't tank the. I didn't. Uh, um, Take aggro from those minions for like, you know, uh, like five seconds where my minions would be uh, uh, shitting on his minions. Then I end up pushing. But then again, like I said, I'm not scared of no fucking Vi. And, you know, I, I invite Vi, but he's sitting there dropping spirit fires, rebalancing the wave out, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, maybe he's scared to. Uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say, I don't have a jungler, so. Yeah, you know, I don't have a jungler or fuck the jungler, but you see what I'm doing right here? Just do this. Just because a champion's in front of you doesn't mean you have to hit that motherfucker. And imagine what he thinks. was like, hold on, that's Folliberry. He can auto-attack, he can flip, he can slow, and he can bite. Why is he doing it on me? Why? Because I'm focused on farming. I'm focused on farming. And the good thing about Folliberry, you can let the lane stack up because you can drop your Majestic. And one thing do you notice, yes, I am kind of low, but that's because I'm taking minions and some burn. But I don't mind being that low because what are you going to start? Is he going to start hitting me? He can't kill me. He's got to go through my passive plus a pot. And I'll be level 4 pretty soon too. He's level 4 before me because I let the lane push. But I can freeze the lane, so I'm safe. So, you know, I can just see right here. You see how... I, I start hitting him, and I drop the fear, so I, I fear his minions for three seconds. And that means I can free shot free shot him. So getting free shots, I decide to bite. Once I bite, I'm leaving. I am leaving. So, you know, because I don't want to take aggro. I can go back and farm underneath my turret or wait for it to push up and somewhat block it. Let my passive pop, pop the pop with my passive pot. Uh, 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 pops, uh, fuck, I can't. But yeah, I can do that. But you see the mistake. He's like, okay, man, I got all these minions on my side, but they haven't been hitting me this whole time. Plus, you know, like I said, I still got my passive. And plus, you're playing Nasus. Are you going to port back after this? So he decides to stay on me. I'm like, oh, this dude's stupid. He's not respecting my ignite. I, my bite was down, but he tanks a turret shot right there. And I was uh, uh, predicting that flash reno. Uh, I mean, my bad, that turret shot. And, of course, I wasn't going to flash. Save my flash. And look at this. Now, Let's talk about teleport. I know I gotta pause this and I gotta break this down, but you gotta understand one thing about teleport. He makes a mistake, gives me 400 gold plus. You know, I'm building the CS lead and his lane is pushing, so he's getting denied farm on top of the first, well, not the first blood, but the kill that he just gave me, right? So he's dead for eight seconds. So if his lane is supremely stacked and I can use my fear, I can hopefully get this wave 
to burn this wave out and at the same time freeze this with my E and hopefully it doesn't auto push. But what Nasus needs to do is push this lane out. You know, if for jung if if buys top, you know, if you're a jungler, you see this and you see that I'm freezing a lane, come fucking dive me, kill me. Right now I don't have my passive. But sometimes they don't see this in the lower divisions and don't expect them to see this, but understand it. Uh that your jungler could have came top and there's no need to get mad. You just have to work around it. So Nasus fucks himself. Now it's me. So do you understand what, what Nasus has to do? right and what the jungler could have done take that away from him uh, you know expect it maybe that might happen if they do that then that means they're smart if i was playing a fucking challenger or or master tier then they'd fucking they just I, I, you know I, there's motherfuckers top every five seconds but here i'm like okay i'm chilling where's the teleport where's the teleport i was like holy fuck he's not teleporting so there's the teleport but like i said i'm not worried about it i dropped the flip and I dropped the fear, hit the caddy, but the casters in the back are hitting me, but I don't mind getting hit. And then I have a pot, uh, and all I gotta do is farm. Like, I'm safe right now. He, he drops a little burn, ah, whatever. Not a lot of damage, but we're chilling right now, right? We are chilling. What's my goal? My goal is Sunfire Cape as soon as possible. ASAP motherfucking Rocky. Um, I don't have teleport, so since I don't have teleport, I don't want to do anything stupid that will... Uh, make it to where Nasus has it. Imagine if it's the other way around and he has teleport, then he can walk back in the lane or use his teleport to get back in the lane to continue to stack. But not only that, he's able to sustain me. But then again, he's got to understand, I don't give a fuck. And that's the thing. When you don't give a fuck, well, when you understand the ways of the trade and throwing down a TDM-style top lane, yeah, there's no saving this motherfucker. Even if he killed me, I'd still look to kill this motherfucker. Not only that, he disrespects me, but then again, once I hit level 6, what do you, I mean... I guess, you know, he, I, I am going Sunfire Cape, you know, um, he, he buys MR, and that's that's actually good. But then again, it's Volley, Volley's damage, like early game to like a Nasus, like nobody can tank it, nobody expects the damage. It's mixed with Electricify, magic damage, and then the bite damage plus the flip back, getting more autos off, getting a lot of attack speed, so yeah. You know, Volley's a good champion uh, to play that, don't give a fuck, but I don't recommend um, uh, Ignite unless you learn how to do what I'm doing. Just chill. There'll be opportunities. Like, you know, I saw an opportunity to flip uh, or or he got greedy, so I saw an opportunity to get the kill. Well, uh, can I even put it like that? Because that kind of, because, you know, he asked for it. He, I mean, he, you know, I guess, you know, like, I don't want to put it like that where, like, you know, Nasus just wanted to give me a fucking kill because he just walked on to me and when all he had to do was just back the fuck up and he didn't. Um, okay, so right here. So, you see what I did here, right? So, I'm just chilling farm, and whenever I miss CS, guys, trust me, I'm really fucking pissed. If I miss, like, right here, I missed, I'm fucking mad. I'm fucking mad. I'm really mad. So, understand you missed that, and take that shit to the fucking, uh, take it to something. Take a baseball bat, and just start beating shit, and get back at it, and work on that rhythm, and get that farm. I haven't played top in a while, so give me a break, and I haven't been playing a lot of solo queue, so give me another break. Thank you. Oh my god, I missed another one. Jesus. Oh my god. See? Alright, so, here I missed another one, but I said fuck it. You know, this, I've already got a 21 CS lead, and that's pretty much like a, almost a kill and a half, plus the, the, uh, um, the kill I have. So what does that mean? 1,700 to 2,300. So it sounds about right. Up about 600. That's definitely about right. So, here. What I'm doing here. Now, when I watch you followers play, and you do this, and you do this every single time. Oh, my E's up, my Q's up, my W's up. Nah, man, just just, just relax. There, I did it because, you know, the lane's push, and I just want to do a little bit of harass. See, so watch what I do here. See, look, this is the thing, man. We chilling. He hits me, takes aggro from all my casters. I'm cool with that. All right, Karthus fucking pops his ulti. Okay, I'm a fucking... I'm a troll. So my passive was coming. So this is somewhat kind of baiting. You see how low he is from the minions? Like, he's tanking my minions. When he takes aggro off me, hey, man, I'm cool with that. So I don't even have to hit him. And that's the good thing uh, 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 about dropping a little bit of disrespect here and there. People kind of like, what is this guy doing? Oh, fuck this guy. I'm going to hit him. And then he hits me, and then bam. Takes a little bit of damage. And then watch this. See, I'm going to wait. I want to bait a minion here. I don't want to be like, oh, shit, he's low. I don't want to run at him, like, right now. I want him to walk up to this minion and hit it. And, you know, and make him think that I'm not going to do anything. Or make him feel like, well... When they do that, okay, say for instance the CS is very low and they go for it, that's just greed on their part. And then you have to understand what he's doing here. See, look, I, I could have flipped him there, but just, just be patient. Wait for it. Make sure it's clean, smooth. No ignite up either. And plus, he's going to hit level 6. So I'm going to walk up. So right here, there's, look at this. Does he want that? Um, well, look, he's got to go now. Now he's got to go deeper. He's got to go deeper. Boom. So right there. 
Right there, he wanted to auto attack that minion. I, I auto attack him. Grass on dying gives me a little bit of HP back. Pop my ulti, deals a little bit of damage to him. I swat him. I don't flip him yet. Okay, there is the flip. Now he's behind me. So I kind of want to walk like around here to kind of like, you know, get two auto attacks. Plus, if I'm with it for six and a half goddamn years, I drop the slow. You see how I don't drop the slow right off the bat? You don't want to drop the slow right off the bat, especially when he's near his turret. You kind of want to wait to see if he uses his flash. If he uses his flash, then, hey, let him use it. But I, I slow him right there. We dropped the auto. Or did I? I did slow him right there, right? I think I did. Or I might have. An auto attack, fight, and get the fuck out. That was kind of risky because that wither's fucking OP. I just got very lucky. Had my flash. I could have gone really bad. Uh, wouldn't have been the end in the world for me, but right here. Now I got a 2-0-0. Uh, uh, okay, you look at a CS. A 30 CS lead. So that's pretty much like you're up 900 gold, man. You have to be up like almost, okay, a little bit more than that because, you know, some minions are worth more, and I guess it's getting later in the game, and uh, 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 I guess gold scales a little bit. I don't know exactly. I know it does, though, but, you know, I probably should do my homework. But those are the little things that, you know, I don't know. Who gives a fuck about that? Um, but right there, look at the inst insta, insta. Like, l look, look at my items. Please look at my items, guys. Yeah, I... You know, I know I'm stuttering over here, but, you know, when I watch you guys play top lane and you're sitting there going, like Gizmo and Sub Wars, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Phage, I'm going to go uh, Warrior, I'm going to get Bambi Cinder, and I'm going to get a Giant Spell. Like, you buy all four of those fucking items. When all you had to do, and I don't give a fuck what top laner you're playing, if it's a tank, if it's a, uh, well, it depends, it depends. But it doesn't matter. It, tell you the truth, it doesn't matter. This is what Sunfire, this is the power of Sunfire Cape, guys. Let me show you. So Sunfire Cape right now, let's see, what does it do? 33 damage a second sent on top. And it's dubbed up, uh, let's see. Deals 50% damage to minions and monsters. Hold on. A bonus, bonus. So, I could have sworn it was 100%. I thought it was supposed to be 100%. But it doesn't matter. Let me show you why Sunfire Cape's OP. So, what do I want to do here? Now... If I continue to farm out, he perfect CSs, and of course, there's no way he's going to perfect CS or be in lane when I'm in lane because I'm scaling it to something that's going to do a lot of damage, and I can do work on him. Plus, if work is smart, all he has to do is come top and hit R on this motherfucker, and we combinate, and he dies, right? But do they know that? Am I going to be like, War, come top? No, 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 I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. See, when I run Ignite, that means I'm really pissed. Like, I think I played a game. I was just really upset for some reason. I forgot what it was, what I did. I think I had to make up uh, for uh, one of my games. I, I, I failed. Um... <clears throat> but, okay, so we come in here. I drop the flip, but I walk back. So I'm going to auto attack, bite. One, bite, and just walk back. A little harass. I don't mind taking damage from this turret because he struggles when it comes to sustaining this early in the game. Uh, of course, unless he gets Biscuit, but there's no help for him. And plus, I like to bait, my, I like to bait the enemy jungler. See, right here, do you see what Sunfire Cape just did? Now, here's another example. Do you see how I'm able to push this wave and get every single CS? That's six. And now he has to sit underneath this turret. So now these minions are going to be doing damage to his, tur uh, to his turret. So you see its turret is already that low just by minions. Um, now watch me seep through. Okay, well, no, I show you after. And I just dropped that. Here we go. You see this bitch? I'm like, motherfucker, you don't belong in this lane. Now get the fuck out of here. And here... I see LeBlanc. Once I see LeBlanc, I'm like, I'm all in, baby. So, there's no point in running away and trying to survive. Let's just put this motherfucker down in the dirt. Why? Because LeBlanc getting fed. It's all... I got the caddy. Yo, I gotta say worth, because I just picked up the caddy right there. Um, Alright, Blitzcrank's a cocksucker. He, you know what he did, right? I'm not gonna reply, because it's just gonna put me on tilt. I had... Oh, yeah, and also, I, I did the commentary. Uh, I did this my way already, but my OBS was muted. Yeah, I was pretty fucking salted, man. I was pretty salted. Though I'm like, I'm the saltiest motherfucker right now, man. I was so perfect. I fucking love the video, but I'm still getting to the points. So I'm gonna break down the fights when it gets in there, and it's a tw it's 23 minutes long, but it's probably gonna be like 30 to 40 minutes because we gotta break down the game, guys. We gotta break the game. You know, it's like trick. You know, like I'm pretty much like three and one. I got n look at my CS lead. Look at my gold lead. So let's talk about this. 4600 to 2800. I mean, do the math. Almost two fucking k. How can we increase that to uh, 23k? 3k. That's our goal. And farm it. Now, here's the most broken thing about Sunfire Cape that people are just too blind or, just, uh, you know, to see. I, t I preach it, man. Even in the NASA's beginner uh, uh, guide or any top lane, what do I say to get, man? I'm telling you. If, the, the, if you farm well, 
Like, even early, and the other guy's trying to harass you? Well, Nasus loses automatically to, to me. Like, there's no way I lose to Nasus unless he plays really smart and reads me, and I fuck up the lane, and he controls the lane better than me. But that takes, you know, I, I probably lost maybe one or two times how to have, like, 100 matchups versus uh, an Nasus. But look, do you see what Sunfire Cave is doing? I'm not even popping my E, and my E deals 150 damage. How much uh, HP do you have uh, there, uh, Castorino? Oh, okay, so you have 370. So if I pop my E, oh yeah, not only that, I'm taking a little bit of damage. If I pop my E and do 150 damage across the board, they're all feared for three seconds. So, you see what I mean? Now, imagine Nasus. Now, oh yeah, but, well, I want to stack, but think about it. You know, there's all types of styles you can play. You don't play. You don't have to play Nasus and just sit there and stack and watch your whole team fail. And if you don't know, understand the gates, then what the fuck is the point? You know, the point of this game, if you had this cane in your hand, is to take that fucking stick and fucking shove it down everybody's goddamn throats through their asses. That's it, man. But people don't do that. They think, oh, man, I've seen searches. You're not searches. You know, you see me beasted up with the cane before, but, of course, my cane fell off. Um, and since my cane fell off, uh, uh, I have to, I have to, you know, I had to retire it. But still, do you understand what I'm saying? This is it right here. Imagine Mal fight with some far Do you understand what I say, when I say you, when you play Mal fight, if you play against a magic deal and damage champion, but if you farm well, it'll still be forgiven because you're still buying an HP item. I understand they deal magic damage. Hey, man, fucking just run a... Uh, uh, run, uh, what do you call it? Run fucking MR, uh, Quince, and then per level MR on your glyphs. So you got flat like you would run on your, uh, your glyphs, but, and you got the per level to scale a little bit harder. That'll make up, you know, as you're leveling up, right? It might be a little bit rough, but you just have to understand how to sustain versus a, 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 a magic dealing champion, um, by, you know, when rushing a Sunfire Cave. So do your fucking homework. It's not that hard. Use your fucking brain. Now, a lot of people don't use their brains. Now, this goes for any. This is pretty much like a beginner guide. Like, what I'm breaking down is just shit that just runs through my head. You know, any type of advantage I can get. Now, if you're playing with, like, like the highest LCS player, then that's different. You can depend on motherfuckers. Here, we cannot depend on them. So here, he decided to walk over here thinking he might get dived. So I just come over off to the side and say, what up, baby? I'm not trying to dive him. I'm just trying to harass him. I'm going to auto attack on a bite. You see, he drops all. Okay, bye. And then, what do I do? I look at him. I drop my little thing. Top. And back again. Now, just look at this. Do you understand why Sunfire Cape is broken? And they buffed it too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. This must. I wait. I, the reason why I don't go on him right off the bat because I'm withered. So I want to wait for it to get off and see if he's willing to come back in. Yeah, right here. I'm like, yo, dumb bitch. Like, you know you can't wither for how many seconds, young one? Oh, three seconds? Don't worry. This is going to hurt. Now it's a flash burn. I wanted to flash on his back heel and, and burn him with it. And I got him. And worth. Oh, hey, Vayne. How we doing? And Vayne leaving her lane. Lost her turret. Remember that? Now let's take a look. What is your team doing in this situation? What am I supposed to do in this situation? Do I stay top? Do I keep Nasus at bay? Nasus bought some armor, but it doesn't matter because I got this fat, juicy lead. Look at the difference right now. 3,500 to 5,700. We're almost 3K on this motherfucker. We're just 800 out. And now all of a sudden, I got a Vayne in my lane. What is she doing? And it's warded top side and work. And wh where's work? You know, did, did you see me cry about work? Work could have made life, uh, life hell for. I'm not gonna say life easy for me, cause I don't look to depend on anybody, man. You gotta do things yourself. And the steps, it's the basics. You know, it's just like those beginner guides. Focus on farming, baby. Focus on farming. Oh yeah, since I focus on farming and I got a th almost a 3k gold lead, I have every fucking right to build Triforce. Now, what happens if I end up throwing this fucking game and Nasus builds a frozen heart, gets his spirit visage, now he can tank me? I mean, I'll still do damage if I'm touching Vayne, right? Yes, I'll do damage if I'm touching Karthus. What do they have to come back into this game? Like, analyze this. Oh, they have two scaling champions, but how do we take the scale away from them? How do we take the scale away from them? Ask that question. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, if you understand what they turn into, of course, uh, I can scale too. As long as I keep fucking farming. I'm scaling into a motherfucking monster. But they scale into a different form of monsters. They scale into a form of monster where, you know, it's like, you know, Vayne has three items. She hits you three times. You're sitting there with fucking six thorn mouths, nine warmogs, and you're fucking bleeding on your legs broken. You have no fucking arms, and you're like, what the fuck just hit me? Um, and then, and then what else is there? Nasus sits there, and I guess it really depends because I understand what Nasus can do, what he's capable of, uh, capable of, and I breach skates with him many, many times. I drop the cane many, many times, and of course, there's Vi, there's, there's, and, 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 
and there's Karthus. Oh, and Karthus is another case where he can just fly into a team fight. If we fucking do a little bronze TDM and sit in his defile with the spirit, fire with the. Uh, what else do they have? Nasus coming in, Kanan. They focus the right targets. We do something stupid. We chase the vein, leave these guys. But see, that's the thing that you, 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 you like. Fuck, I can't even talk, right? You guys are gonna make fun of me, aren't you? I, it's the uh, 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 and the you, 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 you. <laughs> no, but, um, I'm just trying to, you know, break it down to the fullest. So that's the thing you have to, like, 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 play in your head, you know? Like, play, play the game out in your head. Like, like, foresee the future, you know? Your future. You make your own fucking future, baby, and how this game is gonna turn out. You know what I mean, baby? And when you do that, look at this. We got gates. Oh shit, here's another thing. So I had this, I remember last, the first reply. Now watch this fight. Now do they need to fight this? Oh, Vayne wants to farm bot, Nasus is dead. Should you fight this? Oh shit, I forgot to break this down. So with Vayne leaving her lane, uh, maybe the first time or the second time, loses tower. Nasus ports in, as you can see, is teleport. Now this is the worst possible thing to do. Is, is, look at it, I, I'm coming team! Well first off, what you need to do is understand that your vein is pushing top, that there's a fat stack and wave that Nasus can farm bot, that you can give up this turn, and if you have to give up this turn for the scale, and it's called flipping a coin, give it up. Give it up. When you try to protect something where it's it's not worth to protect, uh, especially, well, I'm back, so I mean, I guess since I'm not there, it's fine, but work can easily lock somebody down, but let's watch this and see how it plays out. So I can kind of give you an idea. Imagine Nasus just staying bot, and if they gave up just this turret and prepare to uh, defend this turret. Not only that, Vayne is back and decides not to push top, which is understandable because I'm coming back in the lane. I probably would have tried to kill her. Warwick is off to the side, chilling, relaxing. Did he steal the red buff? Holy shit, what a beast! So he takes that shit and says, yo, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to walk on out of here. Uh, we'll talk about builds too in a bit. I know I don't talk about builds all the time. Boom, there is the snipe, the change, the stun, the change, the stun, the distortion, the stun. That's how I see it when I see this. <laughs> see NATO fucking knock up, locked out. Yo, man, change he's seen is fucking like the most fucking, I don't know, next level form of rage when it happens to you. I just, uh, you know, I, I, just, I watched the software today and it was just like stun, stun, but -ba 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 -ba, or was it a spectator? Or maybe it was one of my games. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. Now, my team is pushing mid lane, right? So you're asking yourself, you know, this is you, right? Let me see if you had a timer in game where you had it. 16 minutes. It's not even 16 minutes. It's about to be 16 minutes. And you said you had 130 CS at 16 minutes with 3 L. So that's pretty much similar to me, right? So. Look at this, uh, demon. If you're if you if you're watching this, look at me. I take this turret. Now look at this. You understand what you have on your team, what you scale into, what they scale into, what they need to do to get back into the game. And if they don't understand the scale, now right here, who started this fight? Was it was it Vi? She flashed in or some shit, right? Or she didn't flash in, but she goes instantly onto LeBlanc, only to bait fucking these two. And Nasus just died. Now if Nasus was here with this. You know, team, then that's fucking great because I'm top right now. I don't have my Triforce, but I can still get this turret for this fight. And I'll tell myself it's worth it. And if I continue to stay top, but if I can't get the inhibitor and I keep watching this happen and we lose this fight. But as you can see, it's probably not going to happen because we got work coming in. Now, Vi, boom. So here, I was going to say, uh, Work shouldn't uh, uh, use this ulti there and got greedy, but Vi was going to flash over. Um, I said that was like work because I like to save my shit and then Vayne comes in gets really really greedy See Karthus doesn't care to die here and he dies instantly which is good for us because that defile uh, Is fucking broken. We need to get out of it and Vayne plays off it and peels boom Well frontal peeling like a mouse and that might be a double kill that's uh, uh The condemn okay, that's a uh, three for two for them No, well you could say three for three because Nasus was dead But I do not get the top turret and I stand off to the side now, look at my gold lead right now. What is it at? It's 6,800 to, okay, almost 3K. Well, it's probably 3K now while he's farming in the lane. And I die right here. So understand his death, right? And what was my other death? My other death was okay because we picked up two kills and boom, we killed Nasus too. So we both die and he has teleport. So there's no way he uses teleport to get back into the game. So we all know that. You can use teleport to, to buy an item and instantly come back in the lane. So imagine if I was playing Volibear, right? And I'm sitting there farming. 
Um, this dude's harassing the fuck out of me, harassing me, he's blowing his mana, he's running Ignite. So you can understand what I'm talking about when somebody brings Ignite top lane, that you gotta understand they need be, they mean business, they wanna kill you. But is he good? Does he know how to do it? Does he have the, you know, the, the, the knowledge on how to not supremely throw his lane, that, you know, rather than just walk into lane with Pantheon, spear, 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 Ignite, spear, 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 spear. And, and you know, when he, when he spears you and spears you and spears you, you just sit back, okay, yeah, that's, that's it, you're, you're room now dipshit and i'm sitting here farming chilling relaxing i let you auto attack me i let the lane push oh guess what i have good cs because i know how to farm underneath the turret i'm gonna go back and buy bambi center come back in the lane sit on my cloth armor if you had 1100 gold you instantly come back he doesn't have what do you call it teleport and he just sat there and tried to kill you he said he, but you backed he's not able to push the wave and this goes for anybody that runs ignite anybody you just got to understand the spikes, you know, and when you understand that teleport, how you can use it to your advantage and how you can get it get back into the game. But if you don't know how to lane versus somebody uh, or a uh, Volibear that, you know, that's really, I guess you can say experience and based in uh, uh, plat plebs, because that's what this fucking doge is, is a fucking plat pleb. You know, I got to send a motherfucking message. Uh, you can say whatever you want. You can assault me for saying that, uh, that I'm beating up on platinums, but I don't give a fuck. I'm platinum by heart, boys. I'm platinum by heart. No, but seriously. Um, yeah. It, you know, you look at it from both sides. And this is, you know, when, when you open your mind up, you, you break these trees down and you get places. Like, I never gave him any, you know, I never gave him a chance to use his, get him to use his teleport. Well, how do we put this? Let's just say I made his fucking teleport useless. That's fucking great. That's see, that, what the fuck is wrong with me? See, I'm trying to break it down some next level shit. Break it down in six different ways. So I made his teleport useless. So useless. So he killed me. I mean, I killed this motherfucker. I killed this motherfucker, and um, he teleports back in. But you know, I had to kill, and then plus he missed a lot of CS coming back in. Uh, um, and then, you know, I was able to farm, then it re-pushes, then I, I, I regen back up, I had Thorns, a little bit of lifesteal, plus lifesteal on my masteries, uh, so my sustain wasn't that bad, and every time I auto attack, I get a little, oh yeah, so I have 5%, and then I think, I didn't use Feast, but it didn't really matter. So, and then, I got level 6, and then, you know, I, w I chunked Nasus again, I killed him, so I, just that one go around in laning phase, I kill his ass, and he used his teleport, and he doesn't have teleport the second time I kill him, so I deny that. So, and then now, now teleport becomes completely useless. Now, if he uses it to help his team, I'll make sure that I'm proxying. That if he decides to leave his lane, the, my minions will auto-push up onto his turret. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm bad at explaining things. I haven't slept yet. Um, I'm probably going to sleep tonight. Um, it's just a lot of shit that I have to do because I'm going to Vegas uh, for the low finals. Um, but, yeah. But do you understand what I'm saying about teleport? You know, sometimes I, I realize like you'll teleport such a waste of time for you guys. But then again, it's better than running ignite when you don't even know how to kill him. So what summoner should I run? Should I? Shit, maybe you should just run teleport. No, but seriously, you should use teleport to your own advantage and never to help your team unless you're a hundred fucking and a hundred percent sure. I was gonna say hundred and ten percent, but you know that's a little bit too much asking from a bronze or silver or. or Maybe not a Goldie, but do you understand? Do not use teleport to help your team, man. Like, watch the Koreans when they teleport, or use teleport just to bait, bait them out. But use teleport just for yourself from now on, please. Be selfish. You know, imagine this. You know why I start teleporting? You see me play fucking a tank and I start cloth armor. The reason why I start cloth armor instead of like a Dorns when I can start a Dorns or something else is because I want to go into a chain vest and a Bambi Cinder. If I'm able to go back and pick that item up, like if I play Malphite Top and I run Teleport, my goal is to hit 1100 gold, right? And if I hit 1100 gold, then I go back instantly unless the lane is free as fuck and I'm manned up. But when you play Malphite, they're annoying as fuck and it's a struggle and... And sometimes you just need to back and refill. So, that 1100 gold. But if I'm able to stay in lane with, and get the 1600 gold, then that's a chain vest. Now, this game, I pick up two kills and just farm up. And I'm able to insta-buy some fire cape without fucking teleport. And I walk back in a lane and I proxy. Well, I didn't proxy the wave, but I pushed the wave. And I still came back in a lane. And what did I do? So analyze everything. When you understand my lead, and when you understand my lead, I stay in my lane. I'm not leaving my lane. Can I leave my lane? Let's backtrack this. Can I leave my lane right now? Can I leave my lane? All right, so, um, okay, so here's another thing that I did. Uh, um, I broke down. Now, work comes over here. Now, 
when you see work now we judge in work right now um not not you know like like you know like nothing offensive uh judgment but more like this decision he decided to come bot to save this tower when all he had to do was come mid hit r delete one of these doesn't matter who he hits r me Oh, Demon, you asked about what could I do right now? I could just run mid, and then while Karthus is bottom, he has teleport, and that's why he stayed bottom, because if we push mid hard enough, but then again, if we push mid hard enough, then he just teleports, then they have numbers, and they have the laser beam helping them. Because this tower can pretty much count for like two people. Remember that. You know, it's a fucking lifesaver, and if we end up diving and doing something stupid, guess what? Boom. Uh, we throw our lead to the scaling, and you never know what's going to happen. If you don't have the knowledge to, you know, uh, recover, come back from this, this next level throw, then you're fucked. You are fucked. And you're not fucked like as in losing the game, but you're fucked in like, holy shit, where am I? I'm lost. It's like, turn off the lights and, and, and you know, like, just think about Nocturne Olden outside and you're outside. And you, you There's nothing. You can't see shit. Or just rip your fucking eyeball. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Just, just, you know. Yeah, duct tape your eyes closed. And that that's pretty much, you know, where you're at right now. You don't want to be there, man. You want to you want to get maximum value. Understand that he does have teleport, and that's one of the reasons he's over here. So, if you would have just farmed this and understand that we got squads mid that I'm going to be able to push top and are you for sure you can kill this dude? Let's find out. Okay. All right. Lay ways. All right. Uh, all right. There you go. That's it. Did you even red smite, motherfucker? Did he even red smite? I don't even think he red smited. What the fuck? How do you not get a red smite as you're ulting him? So, we lose a tower here, bot, which is good for their team, but my team chunked out whoever the fuck it was over there, and me pressure on top right now. I come to get this, and I could have wrote, look, like, okay, here's another thing, so another option for you. Was all, me, okay, Warwick and me come in mid and just insta-diving. That probably would have worked out good, but then again, like I said, it's their best option. They, I don't know if Karthus is thinking that, man. I hope they just, just to fucking die mid. I'll pour it in defile and hopefully get lucky and if they still lose guess what it's their best option you know sometimes you gotta understand you're just getting beastified there's that chain cc lockdown light up bitch and it looks like blitz goes to the back line you see how blitz goes to the back line there's a teleport coming in but jen looks like he's gonna be safe and there's the uh boom assault and battery but jana dropping ulti cancels it but uh the hook lands okay there's a distortion. Uh, Gym 10 League is going to play some mechanical work on this uh, Karthus. Karthus needs to be careful. And as you can see, I'm doing work off to the side. And here, I don't need to get this turret. So my first death was all right. My second death uh, was bad. I could have got out of there. So, you know, my this death right here was bad too. So tally these, these deaths up. You know, work, getting a dragon. Uh, and then pushing down bot, I guess you could say it's worth, but even though Warwick fucking blows at pushing lanes, but gets the five stacks plus the two, I'm gonna say it's okay. Because him scaling into a monster is good. So, um, looking back at top, LeBlanc decided to go back in, and I wasn't able to go back in, uh, because my Q was on cooldown. If I could've got a flip, maybe it would've got the vein, but it doesn't matter. What do we lose from this? Uh, uh, that's your, ash you know, ask yourself this. What do you lose? Well, what did you gain? We gained uh, a tower, we gained a dragon, um, we killed a Vi, and we killed Blitz, so it's a three for two for them, but we got a, a key, key tower. You know, there are times when, you know, you rush to Baron, rush to tower, if you ever kill and win a team fight mid lane, and you have this wave, like, say if you win a team fight right here, and you have this wave pulling up, and three of them are dead, with two of them low, going back to heal, and you have your whole squad, or at least four, always go for this. Always go for the uh, inhibitor tower unless you are losing really bad and just run to Baron and pick that up. Oh, really bad. Really bad because Baron is the equalizer in some ways depending on how bad you are and the knowledge that you uh, 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 have on the game. Well, I guess all parts of the you know midish late game. Um, but other than that, we're going to go back and uh, we're going to pick up Mercurinos. We're going to pick up that Triforce. We got the Sunfire Cape first item back. Uh, uh, and first item back, Sunfire Cape is goddamn broken, man. It's like going Super Saiyan 1, man. Super Saiyan 1. Triforce, Super Saiyan 2. Uh, after that, I don't think I need to go 3 versus these scrubs. Uh, but other than that, I decide to stay in my lane. Now, Trick, you know, why, why, why don't you just group up with your team? Well, first off, my lane is pushing. I want to push this out. Plus, I don't have teleport. And they have teleport. And why don't, I, why don't you understand what I'm doing uh, so that 
you, you can understand that Nasus has to fucking hold my left nut while I'm in this lane or stay the fuck well he'll probably stay away from me he won't hold my, my nut and I just need my team not to do anything stupid here there's Vi coming in uh, uh, a fight a skirmish look at me look at me look at me look at the minimap guys look at the minimap always look at your minimap alright guys minimap 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 alright look at this oh fuck we couldn't get a fight man I gotta go back uh, I gotta go back top guys okay Warwick is right here bot look I think he sees that big fat second wave and I like that because he sees me top and before this wave actually sees me there's no ward here so they don't know if I'm still pushing and look at Nasus oh my god I need a back there's a big wave down coming in uh, uh, bot lane let me go ahead and pick that up and there's pings coming out Nasus is gonna come and stop me now look at this now I don't if I run back then I'm dead but I'm sitting there like okay they're not coming I dropped the ward here oh it took three people to do red buff okay let me take this real quick oh I'm supposed to run back out here because this is where my base is no no i'm just gonna run down here okay use your map oh yeah i forgot we took your inhibitor tower okay now we got one wither dropped on the meat but there's no damage following up now if i ran back and i got withered and bane's hit me right here then you're fucking dead you're fucking dead wither is just absolute <sighs> uh, yeah that's how i feel about wither but then again i have mercs and i have 40 percent tenacity and there's a snipe my boy dropping a snipe slowing and work a look he's pushing down bot and there you go we want to get the towers, get the fucking towers, get the towers, get the towers, get the towers. Can we get a broken record in the chat? Get towers, guys. Learn how to get everything. Learn how to suffocate somebody. Not RL, but you know what I mean. End game, baby. That's what it's all about. Dropping fools. The electrify. I'm dead. I'm dead. But guess what? Uh, you're ignoring a work. Work man the fuck up, pussy boy. Where the fuck are you going? Holy fuck. So this dude doesn't understand what the fuck. I don't even know, man. That dude straight up played like a pussy. I didn't even notice that, but I gotta call him out, guys. This dude ain't a man. This, oh, that, must, that must be Gunner, guys. Machine Gunner OP. Um, but look at that. Like, do you see all this? And I'm trying to remember if I left anything out. Did I leave anything out, guys? Did I? Oh my god, look at that, boys. Do you understand? Look at the suffering. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh shit, no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. See, see right here. What, what, what do you do, Trick? Like, wouldn't you take this? Like, if we're only gonna, if we could only take one inhibitor and their whole team's about to come at us, remember, and you're low and you blew ulties to, you know, after that fight and it came back, maybe a fight over here, but you had to run up. So they had time, you know, as you're running up or you chase, not everyone's there, focus in the towers, and just let them go back and heal. And then back, just back, just back. Because if you don't back, they're going to buy items, and they're going to be fully healed up, speeding up, and they have nothing to lose. And when they have nothing to lose, it could delay the game. Not saying it's going to lose you the game. Sometimes it can. It depends on the player. Like I said, full knowledge of the gates is a motherfucker you don't want to play against. Um, and that's what, you know, capitalizing is all about. That's why understanding, that's why me breaking down Nasus, his teleport, and what he could have done to get, get back into the game, and Vi, what, well, I didn't really break down Vi, but you understand what I'm saying, right, from both sides. I like to do that now, and these my ways and these spectates that I watch is breaking down what they could have done better. So if you understand what they could have done, you take that away from them. You say you made a really big mistake there, young one, because your shit just got fucking penetrated with, you know, two towers. Now it takes three people to kill me. So when you understand the ways of capitalization and you learn the ways of uh, uh, control, and what, what is this video supposed to be called? I actually forgot. Because I had one. Um, all right, so... Okay, the control one. Okay, the volley one you watched already. That's the control. This one is Rift and Chill, so I can't forget. So I, I, I hashtag it Rift and Chill. Why did I call it Rift and Chill? You remember what I did up here, right? We chilling, right? We were chilling. I saw a couple opportunities to kill him. But, you know, if I didn't, that's fine. But you will you will feel the, the power spikes, regardless of tank, going AD, or whatever. By just farming good and get to your items and just chilling, baby. Just chill. That's it. Farm. Focus objectives. Understand where everybody's at in the game. Your comp. You know, what you need to do to extend leads if you're playing from behind. Focus on you. Remember that. Uh, you understand what's going on, but focus on you. Don't focus on what your team's doing and what they need to do. You expect failure. Expect failure from everybody on your team. If you don't expect failure on your, uh, from everyone on your team, even though they do good, you might get too comfortable. There ain't no getting comfortable. Because, you know, if I was silver gold, you know, motherfucker, I'm coming in hot. You know, I know you guys want to beast it up. I know you want to slap it up. I know you want to, you know, control your salt and take your game to the next level. And we do a quadra rot here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off directed camera. But that's the quadra rot right there you're seeing. Pretty next level, huh? All right, I'll take off the animation. 
Look at them rods go, man. Look at them. Look at that. Look at that shit. Squads. But that's that is very important. Like you know, w you know, I try to break down. Well, no, I do break it down. When I whenever I'm like commentating, I'm in like in this like relaxed mood. Like somebody said on the Jack's video highlight, I can't believe Trick's actually just talking in just a normal tone. He's he's he's, he's actually chilling. Like when I'm like that, you know, I'm breaking down what he needs to do, and it's better like that because imagine if I'm playing in the higher levels, then motherfuckers are listening to me. Oh, Trick just told me how to win because I'm bad. I don't know anything about the gates. Yo, Trick said this is uh, uh this is the best way for us to win the game. Let's do it, and then I end up losing. You know, that's just the way it is. People gotta go. People, we we already seen. It's been confirmed that boosting is uh, at an all-time high right now. Boosting. What do I think about boosting? Like the players and all that. Yo, I, you know, I don't I don't like it. But then again, you know, I realize that these guys that are in the challenger series, you know, you know, struggling uh, to make uh, a way. If they gotta boost, they gotta boost, right? I mean, what are they gonna do? Work a job and then play fucking league? Or is retail gonna be like, hey man, we're gonna sell these skins and they they're gonna we're gonna pay these challenger players more? I don't know. You know, so. Yeah, but when it comes to boosting, I mean, if you ever, like, like go out and buy boosts, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Let's put these motherfuckers out of business, baby. Let's put them out of boost. Let me boost you, baby, with the gates. And the gates. So what I need you to do right now is uh, drop a like on this video. Drop a comment and say, and, and tell me how you feel about boosting. And drop a cap of one, two, three. And also, um, I'm supposed to do, oh, the giveaway. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll finish that video part. Um, well, you're going to see it next because I got a setup. It's going to be a different part where I add it. It's going to be the runes and mastery setup. Um, so, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Anything, man, anything that you, you want to write comment-wise in the YouTube comments below, like, put down, man. I like hearing stuff like improvements uh, uh, from you guys. Not only that, um, you know, my Twitter, um, you can always hit me a, a message. But also, if there's anything that I missed... You know, anything that I missed, any questions about the game, you know, what I do here, what do I do here, what do I do here, um, or just what I should focus on my next game, let's just, let's do that, because I'm not in your game, you tell me you try to break down a, a part in your game, this happened, this happened, then it's kind of fucked, so, yeah, just go ahead and uh, um, uh, tell me what I should focus on on my next my way, give me ideas, please, to break down, you know, and there you go, guys, peace, light, now, runes and masteries. All right, baby, we back once a motherfucking again. What? Why do I? I need to come up with something different because I, I, I did that. All right, so here's the um runes. So runes, attack speed, um, a flat nine, and this is basic. That's fine, right? So run this, um, and let's see masteries. Hmm. I well, I can't change it here. I'm on. Uh, I just played a couple of fucking games offline and. I want both of them offline. <laughs> offline on D gates, baby. I usually, I went on fucking. I guess you can say I went on tilt, man. People, people weren't getting with the gates, and when they don't get with the gates, they don't respect it. And then after, like you know, the whole nerftation came out. Well, I didn't play there now. I haven't pl played a lot of solo queue, and I refused to play at this elo because playing against. Uh, uh, now I know I'm playing against boosters and shit. Fucking five man squads. Boasting, and I see a lot of QQs in my games, but I'm sorry. All right, all right. So yeah, um, attack speed, um, uh, uh, up oppressor, um, vamp, double. Yeah, th this is good if you want to run ferocity. I think I ran that. Uh, oh, I'm top lane. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Never. Mind, I'm sorry. I'm not jungle. That I already did the jungler because I did. This, I thought I was doing the jungle right now because I was supposed to do that one second and do the top first, but I. Recorded the first one while my OBS is muted. I just checked to see if my OBS was muted. It's not. All right, so that's it right there. And then uh, we want to run this, or we want to run this. Five percent. Tell you the truth, it's fucking pointless. I mean, the two point. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You, you it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. And if you feel like you want to take less damage, you don't care about the movement. Then run that. You know, if if you feel like you're going all in, you're running ignite. But I recommend teleport. Uh, but perseverance, uh, runic armor. Once you get a little bit of HP, this definitely scales a lot. Uh, uh, this definitely scales a lot better with the regeneration. Um, you know, you're talking about, you know, 45 health to 8% once you have 2k HP and your passive gives you, what, 30% back? Um, so yeah. And then whenever, if you drop really, really low, I mean, this ups your base 
uh, uh, a 50% base regen and increase to 200% when below 25% uh, uh, health and also uh, tenacity and then you go grass the undying. You can go strength of the ages. You only go strength of the ages when you're playing against a champion that is not going to do anything to you. Like he's going to let you farm to your first item then you're able to sustain. But if you don't pick grass and undying then it really comes, it's really hard. So imagine if I played against a Fiora and then she kept hitting me and I never traded back and if I did then she would get the HP back and she would run away. So always go grass and undying unless it's a free lane you know you can farm. Um, other than that, that's it. Oh yeah, and the giveaway. Fuck. The giveaway. Can I grab this shit? Hold on. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck. You know, you know I'm going to Vegas, right? So you might be watching this, uh, uh, what do you call it? So this is going to be the giveaway. Um, you remember what I said at the end of the video? So whoever comes up with some, so, some new ideas, um, something about what I should work on, you know, my next video. Um, like for instance, Trick, why don't you, uh, um, like, like, like what if I'm playing this champion, you know, how can, you know, all right, say for instance, you know, I, I was playing Maokai and I did what you did that game. I did really well. What should I do? Uh, and, and, and break it down like and, you know, I don't know, something, man. Just something that, that is uh, uh, something I can fucking work with because I'm really bad at this, guys. And what do you guys think of me doing this shit? I'll sign this right here. I'm going to put my autograph right there. Um, and yeah. It's a medium, by the way, so if, you, if you're not a medium, rip. Because I only got four of these. I'm keeping one for myself, and, well, there's the one for myself. Well, if that's large, maybe I'll give you the large. Um, but, yeah, also, if you do join the giveaway, just type in, or hashtag 2G on your comments so I know you're trying to get it. But give me some ideas, man, because, you know, I'm trying to work on my YouTube and trying to take it to the next level um, w with the content, with, you know, preaching the gates because it, it really makes me happy um, and I'm gonna try to play a little bit more solo queue I'm gonna try to um, when I go to Vegas release uh, uh, my salt and if I can release my salt, I think everything's gonna be good I'll play a little bit more solo queue at the higher elos um, I just need a little a little bit of breaks a sub or specs uh, we're not gonna stop that but yeah so whoever comes up with a, a good idea for me um, or just you know summarize Something, man. Just something. Just write something. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. Um, this is all new to me. You know, taking my my ways to the next level. I'm going to continue to improve. Then tell me what you think about, you know, also the, the, um, you know, the, the, the how I'm doing the ruins and matches rather than putting a screenshot and being lazy. I don't want to be lazy no more when it comes to this stuff because this is where it all started for me. It's YouTube and, of course, streaming. But definitely it was YouTube that really helped me, you know, get my shit out there. So, um... Yeah, don't forget to drop a like. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe. And um, I'll be uh, flying out. I might be in Vegas right now, so, you know, I'll pick the winner. The last winner was picked for the last video. I hope you already saw it. He gave me three lines talking about my hairline, so. Rip. And tell me your predictions, too, down in the bottom. Just write, fucking just write, just write everything. I don't even know what the fuck I'm asking, man. But, yeah, guys. Um, I'm out. Peace. I gotta go get a fucking haircut.